Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am back again with a new video with a new solution of uh, the second problem that I told about, you know, that I talked about, uh, that was why you should never excessively use grammar at the time of speaking English. That was the problem that I told you about, okay, and the problem was very severe, you know, at that point of time when I talked about the problem, it was really severe to be solved and it was very severe to be resolved, you can say. So my intention this time is to get to your senses the clear-cut idea of removing the first step of, you know, getting a free mind from the step of grammatical theories to enable yourself to speak proper English okay now what you should do to remove this kind of you know pace to remove this kind of you know complexity from your mind I'm telling you what you will have to do necessarily to get out of this problem we know grammar is really important for all of us to speak English but we will not necessarily use that in the, in the field of spoken English when we are trying to speak to someone we don't have to use any grammatical rules any grammatical forms compulsorily or compulsively why I'm telling you the reason why we we should not or we why we are not supposed to use any kind of grammatical rule any kind of grammatical form at the time of you know speaking English because if you will apply suppose you will apply a grammatical rule a grammatical, grammatical form at the time of speaking English with someone at that point of time your brain will be capacitated with some you know some inflexible you know powers some inflexible tendencies that will make you disabled totally at that point okay grammar is necessary but thinking about that all the time while speaking English is not urgent is not necessary at all number two point number two why or reason number two you can say reason number two why you should avoid grammatical you know thoughts at the time of speaking English I'm telling you about that if you use excessive grammar at the time of speaking English you will skip the necessary stuff the necessary point of debate the point of you know talking you will skip all those things and you necessarily if you if you just repeat all those things you now time and again if you do all those things grammatical things will cover off the area of your intellectual space so mind it when you will be applying grammatical rules grammatical things when you will be applying all these things the excessive use of grammar or the more tendency when you get it your prime focus or the primary focus will be you know deflected from your mind you know towards towards a worse condition it will be propelled but that is the reason why you should avoid excessive use of grammar or just continuous thought of grammar from your mind now reason number three why you should avoid grammar at the time of speaking English I'm telling you we all know that grammar consists of different elements different chapters okay like the tense like parts of speech like like you can say that nominal compounds moral auxiliaries and different kinds of things are there okay so you cannot you cannot just escape any one of this you know most probably you will have to grab all these chapters one by one as as i'm telling you okay so at one point of time this these things are necessary to enrich your knowledge in English but what comes to my mind right now is very much simple very much straightforward that I'm going to convey to all of your minds notice very carefully listen to me very carefully this point is really necessary to take it down no doubt okay when you will go through some chapters some grammatical chapters you know write them down if that is possible for once write them down okay and go through them every day each and every day and until you get capacitated with each chapter just move on 
with that kind of pace. But don't try to speak in English until you are focusing on the sole chapter of spoken English. Okay? Then did you get my point? Don't try to speak English until you are being capacitated with the total concept of spoken English. Grammar, using grammar and speaking English or spoken English, both these things are totally different. You cannot combine these two things together. Okay, so you cannot, your brain, brain cannot digest these two complex concepts. And there are many teachers out there who will, you know, guide you towards a better prospect of learning English through the thoughts of uh, and I'm learning grammar, better grammar for yourself. But I am telling you something very serious, something very, you know, understandable and conceptual. You will have to avoid grammatical thoughts at the, at the point of, you know, at the time I'm speaking English. Most probably, but most definitely you will have to do it. If you don't do it, some points, you will skip some major points, some, you can say, some major topics you will be skipping and uh, that will not be a very attractive point to get at its best or at its you know prime best you can say so these three reasons are you know hiding you know at the, at the surface you can say just on the surface or at the surface you can say these three points are you know hiding beneath there you now that you will have to discover very soon to get rid of you know, continuous concept continuous complex ideas about grammatical usage and grammatical form okay or forms or other you can say at the, at the point of you know speaking English so these are the three steps to eliminate all these processes and all these you know complex problems so that was about the solution of using you know grammar and the problem of using excessive grammatical use okay so that was the solution of the problem of excessive grammatical use during the point of speaking English so you will have to skip that in a part in order to learn the best out of your mind so for today it's it's enough and uh, I'll come back with the next solution very soon until then just keep watching my videos Thank you. Stay well, stay safe, maintain this lockdown, obey the government rules and, and, and policies. And till then, thank you very much. Take care of yourselves. Thank you.